Hello everybody, I wanted to go over some of the basics of Google Classroom because I know a lot of uh, teachers will be switching to online learning during this uh, coronavirus situation. So let's just talk about it. First of all, you're going to want to log in to your regular Gmail account the way you normally would. And when you're in your Gmail account, which most likely you're in your Gmail account for your school, what you're going to do is you're going to go click over here on the Google Apps icon and then you're going to find the classroom icon. Most of your school should have this available here and in our district it's right there. So we're going to click on classroom. Now if it's the first time you've ever created a classroom, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press the plus sign up here in the top right corner. This will allow you to create a class. Now I already have created a whole bunch because I use this every day, but just for those of you that are brand new to it, you're going to click on the plus sign, click on create class, and then you would give a name to your class. So I'll just call this um, example class. If you have a section number, you can specify the subject, you can also specify the room. So I'll just call it room 101. And then I press create. Might take a few seconds as it creates that class. And then what you would have next is the ability to invite your students. And that you're going to find right here where it says class code. You're going to click on this little button. And this is the code you could show to your students. Usually what I do on the first day of school is I have this up on my projector so that all the students can do it. But right now with our online learning situation, what you'd want to do is copy this code and then send it to your students so that they can join the class. Now communicating with your students and uh, assigning assignments and grades and all, it's actually pretty easy. So the stream, I like to look at this as like my daily updates side or my agenda. So I could say, uh, for my example class, you get to choose which class you want to post it into. You can actually post in multiple places if you want to. And then you can decide if it's for all the students, which in most cases you do want that. So I could say, um, let's just say agenda for today, and then you could say et cetera, dot, 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 whatever you're going to write, right? And then once you have chosen which class it's going to go to, then what you'll do from here, once you type in whatever agenda message you want, you'll be able to press post. You can also add files. You can add PDFs, video files, Word documents, YouTube links, whatever it is that you need to add. You can add it right here. So I would click on post. Then every student will see this agenda. And every student who is assigned to this class who's logged in, they'll be able to see this agenda post for the day. They'll also be able to add comments. Now, if you wanted to assign a project or an assignment, that's where you go to classwork. And you're going to click up here. And like it just, you know, Google's pretty good at explaining things for you. Create assignments and questions, use topics to organize classwork, order the way you want your students to see it. I'm going to press on create, and I'll be able to create an assignment, a quiz, a question, material. I'm a big fan of just doing assignments because that's usually what I do in my class. So I'd say project one, and then instructions. These are the instructions for project one, dot, dot, dot. Then over here on the right hand side, again, it lets you know which class you're going to post it to, how many points you're going to offer, when it's due. So let's say we wanted to make it due a couple days from now on Monday. And then topic, you can create topics if you want so that you can kind of come back to this later. You can also add a rubric here if you want to. So a lot of this stuff is available, pretty easy to use. Again, once you go in here and press assign, then all your students will see it. And then they'll see it on project one. Um, a couple other things I like about using Google Classroom or if, if I go to people, for example, right now, obviously I don't have any students because this is just a, the dummy version of a, of a site, but eventually I would have all my students here and I'd be able to click on them and see all their projects. When I go to grades, also, since I don't have any students, I don't have any of this populated, but I'll show you a quick example of a populated classroom. I am going to hide names on here to, to protect people's privacy, 
but just so you see, this is my typical class, my period one digital arts class. Here's where I give students things that they can download because we do a lot of video projects and After Effects projects. When I go to classwork, you'll see all the assignments that I've assigned throughout the semester. Each of them has a due date as well. And when you click on an assignment, it also tells you a posted date. This is really good, the due date and the posted date. This is really useful for when you're doing your grades because sometimes you need to put that, especially on our queue system, we need to put the posted date and the due date. So this is great. Let's you know who turned it in, who didn't, what's been graded. Now I do a thing where I use Google Classroom as a collection for assignments, but I don't actually grade necessarily through it. I usually only add grades for the students who are missing something. And the reason I do that is just because our Google Classroom and Q system are not completely connected. So again, it's more, it's more like a tool. I don't necessarily grade through Google Classroom, but you can if you want. For example, if you click right here on turned in, you'll see all the students who've turned stuff in. You'll see their files. And then, I, like I said, I mentioned, I sometimes give comments or certain things to certain students. So that's where um, you're able to click on a student's file. And then you're able to go over here and give a private comment. So this student lost a couple points because they missed something. So I had to just make sure to give them a comment. And you can add a comment right by clicking in here and then pressing post. You can also add the grades here. And going back to the instructions, that's the assignment, your student work, that's all connected to the assignments. If we go back to digital arts right here, this is how you go back to all your classes. You can click in the top left corner and return back to all your classes. I was looking at digital arts one, two. And right here, if you notice, if I click on people, this will also show me all my students. This is also a good way to communicate with students. If you wanted to send an email to everybody, which I you might want to do that in these days, what you'll do is you go to students, click on this little box that says actions, click down on this list, and then you can click on email. If you do that, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to send a big email to your all your students. This is a super quick way to communicate with everybody. Now, obviously, this requires that all your students have signed up to your class. But once they do, it's a great and easy way to communicate. And I'll go over that one more time in case you missed it. You're looking at your classroom. You'll click on people. You'll click on students down here, the little checkbox. You'll click down and you'll choose email. And then you can just go ahead and email them all quick way to communicate with everybody. And again, uh, showing you the grades populated tab. Now again, I, I mentioned to you, I don't grade through Google Classroom, but I use it as a turning in system. So you'll see, I don't have a lot of populated grades, but if you want to, you can, which is really cool. Uh, the only reason I didn't is because it's not necessarily connected to the Q system. So I found that I was doing too much extra work. But what's really cool is that it's a, it's a full on spreadsheet here lets you know what's missing and what's been done and uh, you know who needs to do some work. Okay, everybody, and I want to talk to you about reusing posts and assignments, which is also a really useful tool. So I had posted something already in my example class, like I showed you, my assignment here, and also my agenda, agenda items under stream, assignments go under classwork. And let's say I wanted to share these again with another class. Easy to do. So to whatever other class I want to go to, so let's say I'm going to go post this in Digital Arts Parade 1. I would go to Parade 1. And then here, let's say I wanted to post the agenda again. I would click on this little reuse symbol. And then here it'll say which posts I can reuse. And this arrow in the top left corner takes you to all your classes so you can pick a specific thing you want to reuse. In my case, I want to reuse my agenda from my example class. And I would click on Agenda for today. And then... I'd hit reuse. Now I'm not going to do it right now because my students would get this message and it would confuse them. So I'm not going to do that, but you can easily click on any class, find whatever it is that you want to reuse, click on it and press reuse. And the same applies for your assignments. So if you go into your classwork and you wanted to reuse an assignment in another class, again, when you click on create, reuse, same method. You click back on the arrow if you needed to pick it from a certain class. Let's say you have a lot of different sections. This is when you would go back. Then you would find the class you want to reuse the assignment from. You click on the assignment and then press reuse. 
Super simple. That way you don't have to redo a lot of the same work. Okay, everybody. I hope that helps you. Just some quick tips on using Google Classroom. That should get you rolling. Um, there's a lot more to it too. There's you know things you can adjust inside here, your grade calculation, um, more and more things you can do. But pretty much what I went over is what you need to do pretty much every day, and it should get you going. So hope you find this useful and have a great time.